collecting was always part of my life. I started to collect picture postcards as a six-year-old of Art Deco hotels in Miami Beach. It was a picture of fantasy and reality at the same time. That led into the collection of posters during World War II. I am a history buff, and I was very interested in propaganda and in the imagery that was used. As time went on, I moved on into posters that were bought at auction of Toulouse-Lautrec. And then I went to Cassandra. And that slowly led me to Cubism. The first Cubist picture I bought, Still Life with Candlestick by Picasso, it was a good picture and I loved it. So as time went on, I kept on buying more and more and Cubism was really something that I was able to relate to. And I liked the concept of looking in depth at a moment in history. Douglas Cooper and Gary Tintero co-curated the uh, Central Cubism show at the Tate Museum. And it was an extraordinary show. Basically, Douglas is a collection. And I left there saying, oh, if only. It was then that I realized you had to have a good eye and educate yourself. And one could put together a great collection. And then there are experts. Dr. Emily Braun was at the center of my education. And a good part of the uh, dream of If Only has come true. It's a thrill to put together a harmonious collection because now I have something that I can share with the world. And that's my great thrill. And I often tell people, don't try to put together a collection of names. I call it Russian collecting. Wanovich, 